What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomaly Channel. Guys, got another cool picture for you today. I'm not sure what these things are, but I'm going to let you see them, and you can make up your own minds as usual, uh, or tell me what you think they are. Um, okay, this is another picture. I believe it's from Sol 959 or 56. We'll see in a second. Um, getting a little number dyslexic here. But anyway, this is another Martian sunset. Now, it seemed to me I did one on Opportunity, or it was the MSL as well. Now, it might have been the opportunity, but it's not the first time this picture has been taken, or not this particular one, but a, sun, uh, set, a sunset, rather. So, let's check that out. Okay. Here it is right here. And as you can see, it's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, very pretty if you really look at the picture, but blue, man. Blue. Now, what's funny about this, because they do a description on this. This is great. They do a description on this, and you'll see in a second. This is great. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover record this view of the sun setting at the at the close of the mission's 956. Okay, it was 956 Martian Day or Sol, and it was on April 15, 2015, from the rover's location in Gale Crater. This was the first sunset observed uh, in color by Curiosity, which is really odd because if the Opportunity did it a while back, why is it the first time they're taking a picture? Which that's why I don't really believe all that. The images come from the left eye camera of the rover's mass camera or the mass cam. The color has been calibrated and white balanced to remove camera artifacts. This is this is where it gets cool. Well, kind of funny if you think about it. Mascam sees color very similarly to what human eyes see, although it is actually a little less sensitive to blue than people are. Now, so should this be more, even more blue? I mean, I don't know. But what's funny about it is they go on and on about it. Dust in the Martian atmosphere has fine particles that permit blue light to penetrate the atmosphere more efficiently than longer wavelength colors. That causes the blue colors in the mixed light coming from the sun to stay closer to the sun's part of the sky, compared to the whiter scattered or yellow and red colors. The effect is most pronounced near sunset when light from the sun passes through a long, uh, longer path in the atmosphere than it does in, at midday. I don't care what anybody says. This It has an atmosphere, man. Uh, they could claim, you know, you know, red fillers, wavelengths, so on and so forth, whatever. Um, I've seen it, and like I said, my last one, I had done one before, um... Uh, about a sunset, but the sun was actually on this side, and it showed a hill side over here. And if you guys remember correctly, I actually brought up what looked like structures or machine pots laying all over the ground. Well, is this one any different? I usually get a little suspicious of pictures like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I said this before. Now, sometimes I've looked at pictures and found nothing in them. You know, what I thought I'd find kind of looked like something turned out to be absolutely nothing. And this is fine with me. You know, if that's all it is, is nothing in the picture, that's fine. It's perfectly fine with me. Um, you guys can download it right here. It's got the TIFF, which is the better one. You can see it's 4.3 megs as opposed to 0.05 megs. And I have done that. It's not a big deal. Just pop it up. And there you go. So, yeah. When you look into this, the first thing I looked at was I'm going, okay, I can see some what looks like some lines here. What look like might be just ridges in the, um, in the hillside, which makes sense to me. You know, um, I don't know if you guys notice this too. This is like... I don't know if this is in the picture is stitched because you can see these lines, these black lines, and they're a little bit more faint going up here. So these might be stitched, but what's really wild is that why are they just stitched right here? And I don't see any of the area that's just, just that little section that's been stitched. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, was that taken out pr uh, previously just to kind of manipulate? I don't know. Uh, I just thought it was kind of funky how they had that. So let's check it out a little bit more. Uh, in Photoshop and I want to show you guys this is again I don't know what this stuff is but the more you jump into these pictures the more things just seem okay questionable let's just put it at that you know um, let me go like this so what I try to do is see if there's any more colors that could pop out so what I did was it just and you can see it's brighter but nonetheless it's still blue now what I wanted to do and you guys can do this yourself just by doing this go to your image adjustments drop all the way down go to shadows and highlights now, what will happen is you'll see this happen here. You can just bring this almost all the way up and bring that up. And then you can just bring the highlights, which is anything that's bright, you can bring it down. And you'll see that's what exactly what it does. So, but then you start to see these what look like straight lines here. See that? And check this out. You're starting to see, okay, there's that same line, but something's right over here. I'm going, okay. Um... And you start to see these little shapes or lines. And I'm going, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for anything that has a line. It could be just nothing more than a ridge. Um, but that's what I want to see. I want to see if, in fact, that's what it is or if it's something else. So, again, we jumped into it. And this is what we got. And I just showed you that. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, how you bring up the, you balance it out from the super bright 
and the dark areas, you try to match them, or at least try to, ma you know, almost the same brightness, if you will. So, okay. So, I went, wait a minute, hold on. So, I enhanced it, which is brightness and contrast, and I started to see what it looked like. I don't know if you guys can see this, but check this out. I started to see this line here, at least what it looks like a line. And it kind of like this triangle shape kind of thing going on. And I'm saying, okay, here's those lines. There's one and there's two. And I showed you it actually runs up straight up through the picture, which I thought was kind of funky. But regardless, um, let me go just back it up here. Okay. So, and I'm looking, I'm going, okay, I'm starting to see a little something here. Uh, nothing major. Um, nothing to get excited about anyway. So, Let's go ahead and just get more color out. And you notice how the, the foreground really becomes like almost like a black and white compared to the background. And all I did was just bring down the saturation. No big deal. Okay. So I'm looking at them going, okay, so now I'm starting to see more shapes here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can start to see something. Again, I don't know about this line. I don't know what's up with that, but I start to see this kind of U-shaped. Well, that wasn't U-shaped. Um, right here, you can start to see this weird shape. This one here looks like it's a stand-up kind of u shape and then i went wait a minute hold on what's this it looks like something's going like this here looks like this at least i'm just this is the way i'm seeing it right off the bat when i started to do this picture i see something doing that then it fades off okay let me back up so you can guys can see the overall and get the get a perspective so okay i noticed this here i don't know if you guys can see this but let me just jump right back in right here looks like there's a corner here this is like that's kind of like a and it's doing that there. I'm going, okay. So, and then I, I, I brightened it up a little bit, as you can see. Just brought up the uh, the exposure on this particular picture. And I'm saying, oh, okay. But then I started to know some, notice something else. And you guys will see this too. What is this? I don't know if it's doing this, going like this here, and then going up like this. I'm going, oh, wow, huh, okay. And again, you've got this other piece doing this. Okay, so what I try to do is bring out anything, and you can use a technique, and you just use your big, your your right here. I'll just show you because it'd be easier. Uh, go ahead and click on your dodge tool. You can see what you do. You burn tool, your dodge tool. Make sure it's a mid tone. You can just go over the whole picture, and if anything's lighter than the than the actual uh, rest of the ground, we're gonna call it, it will pop. It's as simple as that. It'll start to pop out. And then you can start to see where shapes may be lying. And they may be nothing. Maybe nothing at all. Or there may be something. And that's what you have to determine. Um, so, okay. So I started to bring it. I said, okay, I'm starting to see this a little bit more now. And you can see this yourselves. Um, again, this area right here. And you can see this middle section right here. You can see that right there. You get this middle section, but this is what gets even uh, even more weird. Check this out. I thought this is pretty cool. This middle section is not just that, but check this out. It actually goes from, almost looks like it has this, well, kind of messed that up. Uh, this piece right here looks like it does this. Looks like it comes down, but it also looks like it kind of does this here. And then you've got the rest of whatever this is. Now, I don't know if this is all one piece. And because it is lying, it kind of makes it look like there's actually two pieces. I'm going to say it's one piece. Only because you can see, well, you can't see it now, but those two lines, this one here, in the original, looks like it appears to go straight up into the picture. So, I would assume, if these are nothing more than artifacts of the picture, which they say they're not supposed to be, then this is all one piece. This whole thing is all one big piece. I could be wrong. Now, here's another thing I think you'll find interesting. Check this out. Looks like some kind of weird archway type thing. Going all the way down. Kind of looks like there's something fatter here, but then it goes back down like this. But nonetheless, you can see that pretty good. And now these appear to be almost something separate. See, it narrows out here. It gets a little bit wider, and then it kind of does this here. And there's something else that looks like it's smoother and runs right next to it. So I don't know what these things are. I have no idea, but it's just kind of odd how they all of a sudden shapes start to pop out of this. Now, and you can see where I highlighted a little bit more just to make it a little bit more 
noticeable. And you can see, I mean, these don't look like just standard rock to me. Now, again, you're pulling out these shapes that are embedded, or I should say underlying, if you will, under this manipulation. Um, or is it just because it's just piss poor photography? I just find it hard to believe how everything in the, anything that's got to do with the military, space, or any of that sort, you buy anything. I mean, what was that old joke about, uh, you know, toilet paper or toilet seat costing $20,000 or whatever? I mean, you know, uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So you get a camera that costs X amount of millions of dollars or thousands of dollars, and that's all you get is subpar garbage pictures that I could take uh, a better picture with a $9 camera. Yeah, I mean, come on. So, and uh, now you clearly see this thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty pronounced, but it kind of looks like it does this here. Almost like this piece here is overlapping this other. But if that was the case, you shouldn't say it almost looks like there's a separation here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but almost like there's like fingers. And I don't mean like it's, a, it's an actual hand. I mean, it looks like it has like different parts of this item. But you can't go by this because it's again, it's actually in the photo. And you can see that right there. Well, let me do go back down to here. Let me go back to this here. And we'll go right to the uh, pier itself and show you guys. And again, you can see what looks like that white, that well, a dock line. And it looks like it keeps going up through the, very faintly, through the rest of the picture. Now, so is it an artifact of the picture? Good possibility. That's why I'm kind of excluding that, this piece here. And it's actually overlapped onto this. I don't know. But I, it looks like there's several different things here. Now, what I did was also was got rid of this little i'm going to call it a transition area because a lot of this is manipulation it's just transitional so i try to docken that up a little bit to try to get rid of that and this is what i this is the, uh, the last thing i come up with guys so i mean you guys tell me does it look like natural rock to you not to me it doesn't um it just looks like it's too intelligently shaped i'm going to use the terms to be uh, just a natural rock formation now i'm not saying none of it could be of course it can be um but, I mean, I, and here's the thing. You can still see this in the picture. When you look at it again, you can still see what looks like that weird coming down. You can see this now if you take a look at it. Check this out. Well, you can see those two aligned, of course. One right there, one right here. But you can see this right here going up just like this. Very faintly, but it's there. And you can see it going down like this. Because it actually gets, there's actually pieces here or something. But you can see this. I can see this right here. Check it out. It's still there. You can still see it in this picture. Now let's see if I drew that right. Pretty much dead on. So it's still in the picture. But what they're doing is they're hiding it. And that's what we have to try to pop out. Try to get to see it. And again, and I'll do this. Just You can still see that. I can still see that pretty darn good. And like I said, this one comes out. You can see it going like, well, it kind of looks like it drops down. Goes like this. Goes like this. You've got this one, or it looked like one piece at the time, but you can see like almost like, a, I think there's a separation there. And this, well, it might have been a little further down. But anyway, you, can see, you can't see it too well here because this picture is not meant to be seen, or at least not in a good way. Um, and you can see these things. They're just laying all over the place. So... Yeah. And there's something else here. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but check this out. I don't know what that is. Right here. It's got kind of this weird thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't I don't know. But there's what we're doing is we're trying to bring out again shapes, try to lift it through, if you will, from all this manipulation. And this is what I found. You guys give me your take on it. Let me know you you know what you guys think is going on. Um, so <laughs> there you have it. I just thought it was kind of odd. Anytime I see something that's got to do with a sunset, I question it. Because, again, I live in a mountainous area. I can see when the sun sets. It doesn't get completely dark like that, guys. I mean, unless you're real close to this mountain or real close to this whatever this is. Because if you think about it, this mountain ridge here, if it was behind the uh the mountain yeah uh this would be completely shaded or is it because this is a hillside and the sun is actually on the other side of this and this is shaded i've never seen it get that shaded in other words i've seen it here where 
it literally dips down below the mountains behind them and it's still completely light here so that's why i question i'm not saying that's entirely true what i just said but that's why i question anything to do with these and uh, i think everybody should um so you guys have a look at it yourself let me know what you guys think because um when i look at this thing i see shapes and they look intelligently made so with that i'm going to leave that right there um Again, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to do the. Um, I've got a very busy weekend this coming up, and I'm, uh, you know, this weekend coming up, of course. And um, uh, getting prepared for my daughter's wedding and stuff like that. Uh, doing a lot of preparations for that. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can knock out a. Uh, let me get this off here. Um, a broadcast this weekend. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And maybe last minute, I'm, you know, I'm hoping at least do it. Uh, well. Either give you a heads up to, uh, tonight, this evening, or early tomorrow morning. If not, then we'll just have to make it for next weekend, that's all. But nonetheless, I still got videos coming up for you guys. Just some cool stuff. Just stay tuned for that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for, thanks for watching, as always. Um, I don't do it. Or I do it because I like to do it. But I also like to make these videos for you guys because you guys can also see what I'm seeing. So uh, always leave a comment. Share the video. Give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And um, that's it. All right, guys. Anyway... If I don't make another video or any of that sort, everybody have a good and safe weekend, and we'll see you next pick.